What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the XJimmy Mogo Pro. Now this might look quite familiar to you because I previously reviewed the standard Mogo version on the channel already. Well, this is the upgraded Pro model. Quickly go through the specs. It's an LED DLP video projector. Energy efficiency is 55 watts. You have technically a built-in Android TV box powered by a quad-core T950X2 CPU with the Mali G31. You have two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. Now you do have dual band Wi-Fi with Bluetooth version 5 built in. Now this is running official Google Android TV OS version 9, supports Chromecast. You've got a 10,400 milliamp hour battery, which will give you around four hours of non-stop usage. Lamp life is 30,000 hours. Now brightness is 300 ANSI lumens, native resolution 1920 by 1080. So this is a real full HD DLP projector. Now the maximum optimal screen size is 100 inches plus. You've got autofocus and keystone correction, so you don't need to manually focus anything. You've got HDMI inputs for your game consoles, TV boxes, smartphones, etc. And you've got the Harman Kardon speaker system built in. So first of all, inside the box, you will find a user manual, a power cable, a power adapter, and I'll quickly tell you the voltage. It's 19 watts, 3.42 amps. You're also getting a remote control which has a Google Assistant button built in and it's powered by two AAA batteries. And of course the projector itself. Now you have a premium design. All the silver parts you see are made from metal and all the white parts are made from plastic. Now you do have a non-slip rubberized surface at the bottom and on the top you have the XJimmy logo, a LED power indicator and some touch controls for play, pause and volume. And on the front you have your lens and infrared for the remote control. Now on the back of the unit you have all your ports beginning with power socket, USB port, HDMI in so you can connect your favourite game console, Android TV box and enjoy that on a massive 100 inch plus screen. You also have a 3.5mm audio jack giving you the option to connect your own sound system. Now you do have built in speakers designed by Harman Kardon giving you an advanced sound system consisting of dual 3 watt drivers and you can also connect this device via Bluetooth or 3.5mm audio cable and use it as an external Bluetooth speaker with a massive 10,000 milliamp hour battery. And you also have a physical power button. So briefly switched on the projector to show you how autofocus works. You can see we've got Android TV OS version 9 all loaded up. So every time you move the projector, it will automatically focus the image, ensuring the image quality is always crisp and clear. So absolutely loving the autofocus and I wish every single projector would come with this feature. So the first thing we need to do is test out that fan noise. So here is my sound meter and the fan noise peaks at around 36 decibels from a one meter distance. So I have the projector all set up. We are around three meters away from the wall in front of us and we are projecting around 96 inches. Now we are projecting directly on a light cream colored wall. The projection quality looks absolutely stunning. We are streaming 1080p on YouTube and zooming in twice with my camera will show you the amazing clarity. There is no pixelation in the image quality up close and you do have a nice bright projection. So here is the official Google Android TV OS version 9 as found on the Nvidia Shield TV. Now first of all, if we go to system settings and check out the projector settings, you will see options for brightness, manual keystone correction, projector placement, focus settings, CEC settings along with gyro collaboration. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that we are running Android TV OS version 9 Pi. Now the projection quality at the moment looks a bit grainy and I can confirm it's my camera struggling to video in low light. And just to give you an idea of the difference, I took a still photo of the same system menus. And as you can see, we now have no grain as opposed to when I was trying to shoot video in low light, we had lots of grain. The real image that you're gonna see with your eyes is completely crystal clear with no grain at all. 
So we do have official ATV and that means Chromecast should work absolutely fine. So I did try to cast a video directly from my iPhone and as you can see it immediately loaded the video and the built-in Chromecast worked like a dream. So that means you can cast your content from your smartphone to this projector including Android screen mirroring. So next up I tested the built-in YouTube app where I also tested the voice search function. 4K video. So voice remote is working absolutely fine and you can stream a maximum of 4K on YouTube. Now this is a 1080p native projector so the 4K you are seeing right now is interpolated but I have to say it still looks pretty good. We've spent our whole life trying to write the song that will unite the world. Why can't we just go to the future when we have written it? Whoa, no. This isn't about the father. This is about the son. Artemis Fowl, the most beautiful baby I've ever seen. Be a villain! Yes, I am pretty despicable. You don't want to cross me. Come back when you. So now I'm going to switch to the HDMI source and we have the PlayStation 4 plugged in and you can see it's 1080p at 60Hz. So let's play some games. Very nice leg kick there, can't take too many of those. But he really lands that leg kick to the far end. Oh. Tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. That might be the biggest highlight of his UFC career. He certainly didn't telegraph it, but he got full force and extension behind it. And his opponent had absolutely no chance after that weapon was thrown. A perfect land and perfect execution to get the knockout with that kick here tonight. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick. And as soon as it... Outsider. No more sorcery. Lord Protector, I can't. Uh, is Lady Emily alright? There's all a right? underway. Emily is 
She's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got... So we are now projecting just over 120 inches, taking up nearly an entire wall. So I will switch on the light to show you what the daytime projection looks like. So yes, you can still see the video, um, it's watchable, but of course the quality is much better in the dark. So this projector is designed especially for using in a dark room. If you could just do the same, we could press reset. We don't have anything to apologize for. So I'm doing a quick projector side by side. This is the Vivibrite L2. And this one here is the X Jimmy Mobo Pro. And I've got the same clip playing on both projectors. Now the sources are different. The Vivibrite actually has a Chromecast plugged in and we're using the X Jimmy's internal OS. So I just want to show you by placing my hand over each image just to show you what they both look like. So, so I'm going to cover the X Jimmy so this is what the image quality looks like for the Vivibrite. It's clear, it's very bright. Now I'm going to cover the Vivibrite and this is now the image quality for the X Jimmy. Look at that clarity. Look how good that looks. Now Vivibrite. So Vivibrite is much brighter but you lose a lot of detail. X Jimmy. Vivibrite, X Jimmy, Vivibrite. Noticeable difference there. So there you have it, guys. That was the new X Jimmy Mogo Pro projector. So my overall performance with this projector was actually pretty good. You get a nice and bright image with great contrast and colors. Now do bear in mind, this is a portable projector. It's designed to be low powered. And therefore, if you were to compare it to a full sized 1080p projector, you will certainly notice quite a big difference in the brightness. So whilst the X Jimmy Mogo Pro will give you a pretty impressive image quality and brightness, However, you do need to ensure that you are using the projector in a dark room for the best overall experience. So this is probably one of the best 1080p projectors I have tested so far on the channel. And I'm talking about portable projectors. And some of the reasons why, well, you have native 1080p, which looks sharp and bright, autofocus and keystone correction, official Android TV OS version 9 with Chromecast built in. You have a four hour battery life, it's a DLP projector, so greater image quality and supports 3D movies. Fan noise is on the lower side at only 36 decibels. And you have access to the Google Play Store TV version, so mainly ATV apps. But it gives you access to all the popular apps like YouTube, Prime, Kodi, Plex and lots more. Now let's talk about the apps. YouTube streams at 4K, but that was interpolated as this projector is native 1080p, but it's nice to see that it can handle the 4K power. Now, Netflix HD from the Play Store did not work. 
Even with official Android TV OS, Netflix still requires its own vigorous licensing. But I was able to sideload Netflix and stream a maximum resolution of 540p. Amazon Prime Video, however, did stream fine at 1080p with HDR and looked amazing. Disney Plus also supported 1080p HDR10. So apart from sideloading Netflix, every other app I tested from the Play Store worked fine, including Plex, Kodi, Spotify, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime Video and lots more. So that brings us to the top video projector chart for 2020, showing you the latest projectors and seeing how they compare with each other. And all projectors on this chart have been ranked by the overall projection quality and features. And as you can see, the XGME Mogo Pro has taken position 10 on this chart. And you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Overall, a fast, smooth experience. The chipset is also pretty decent and nothing felt slow when navigating through the menus and opening and closing apps on this projector. So we have a great internal Android system, well optimized and fast in operation. You also have HDMI import, which allows you to connect to any other device you like. For example, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Amazon Fire TV Stick, Nvidia Shield TV, and much, much more. The internal speakers are more than sufficient to fill a small to medium sized room, but if you want more sound power, then go ahead and hook up your own sounds via the audio jack. So movies and games look absolutely amazing on this projector. You have a nice bright image with great clarity and no pixelation at all. Bottom line, if you're looking for a portable projector with the bonus of Android TV OS, Chromecast, DLP, 3D technology and big battery performance, then this XGME Mogo Pro is one of the best portable projectors you can buy right now. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.